So today we ended up getting a preview of the upcoming week, and we actually have a decent number of things to look out for, including two major title updates, one for Vanguard, one for Warzone, as well as a whole host of content across Vanguard and Warzone, including new game modes, new maps, freebies and everything like that. So today we're breaking down everything that we learned here out of this week ahead and what we can look forward to with the new festive fervor event up on the horizon. That said, as we go along, drop your thoughts down below. Are you guys looking forward to any of the stuff we talk about here today? Are you hoping these title updates bring some much needed changes and fixes to Warzone and Vanguard? Or the case may be, drop your thoughts down below. But if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor, drop a like on the video. And of course, if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things Warzone, all things Vanguard. We got you covered with everything you need to know. And with so much still up on deck, if you're part of that nearly 70% of viewers that are not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing. That said, let's jump into what you can expect this week. So, two updates upcoming this week, one for Vanguard and one for Warzone. Kind of like its own sort of update seasonally here that we saw, say, for Season 1 already, but this time now for the holiday event. Vanguard's update comes out on December 15th at 9pm Pacific Time, and then 24 hours later, Warzone will then come out at December 16th at 9pm Pacific Time. Seems like right now, right after that, Warzone update goes live that all the content here that we'll be discussing actually will go live as well but starting basic with this we end up getting a roadmap detailing the new festive fervor events going on within both vanguard as well as warzone now on the vanguard side of things we see that we have new challenges modes and ship mists coming on warzone we have the deck the halls crates and elf and seek we'll see that we have a brand new event with a reward at the end an event stream like we saw with just recently the secrets of the pacific we'll have in-game events like krampus coming and other things like that so breaking these down a little bit further, Vanguard to start out with the brand new mode here. Vanguard's new mode is going to be Armageddon, similar to Drop Zone of the past, but this time it's going to be a twist with TDM. You're going to initially fight over those drop zones so you can end up getting your kill streaks that come along with it, but the points to win are actually achieved by kills, both regular and with streak kills, those counting more than just your standard kills. So Drop Zone is always super hectic and a very fun mode. Really excited to see how this plays here now within Vanguard. We'll see a new challenge in game called Elf Team 6 in which they describe this a little bit differently, but it seems like it will be very similar to the Leprechaun Hunt that we had back in World War II, where the Leprechaun would run around the map and those that killed it would be awarded their entire streak loadout. So you'd get every single streak you have on offer, and even if you use that perk, I forget what it's called, where you had four streaks, you'd get all of those. So you could use things like the ball turret gunner, the fire bombing run, and everything like that, the high tier stuff, and you got it almost instantaneously. That was super fun if you were able to kill the Leprechaun and get all your streaks, not so much if you were consistently getting streaked though. But this looks to be a little bit of a twist on that with perhaps maybe six per game, hence elf team six. But killing them will also earn you some match score and kill streak progression. It doesn't say the full thing though, so there may be some difference here for that as opposed to the Leprechaun in World War II, but you'll be seeing these elves in your matches once this update kicks off. Krampus will be coming as well, in which he's vaguely described, but it kind of seems pretty funny with this. Krampus is going to be coming and taking out those that don't play the objective in respawn modes, or say camp in TDM, as described as him coming for whoever has the least impressive objective score, such as a pathetic hard point time, or a disgracefully low number of domination captures. So it seems like he'll be delivering finishing moves to players who aren't pulling their weight in those modes, and to me, that's just hilarious, truthfully. Then we'll also see that we have a new map reskin of Shipmas. We talked about this yesterday and we can finally talk about it but with images and video yesterday we talked about how it was coming today we have that full reveal personally i think this looks really good in terms of the tonal change and pace set at night the ambient lighting the thematic reskin i think it just all looks incredible i'm excited to play in this and again also excited for the inevitable 24 7 playlist that will result from this being introduced so for grinders it's gonna be a great time to jump into this then sort of on the vanguard and warzone side of things here sharing that progression we'll end up seeing the new event stream come along here with this worth six challenges for both vanguard and six challenges for warzone if you complete either of those six you have to complete all six in either vanguard or in Warzone. You can't do three and three, it seems like, unfortunately. You'll end up getting a brand new blueprint at the end of that. So that'll be something probably thematically skinned. They didn't really preview it, though, within this blog post detailed by Call of Duty today. We also see on the Warzone side of things, we'll have the Deck the Halls Holiday Crates, where it seems like it'll be kind of like a recon, but maybe without the signal flare. These Christmas trees around the map will be marked on the map, and
And if you stay there long enough, you'll get a few supply boxes to, as they say, magically appear and give you some loot, some described as being potentially legendary items for the match, limited time rewards, or some coal just because why not? I'm curious to see if those limited time rewards are thematic things for this holiday event specifically, or if it'll be something like the return of Blueprint Blitz, giving that ability to earn those blueprints from Easter eggs and things of the past that if you just picked up Warzone and Warzone Pacific now, you can earn those things retroactively, which hopefully in the future we end up seeing our own Blueprint rewards available via Easter eggs. Really hoping we see the return of that. You probably know my stance on this past year and the lack of them. That'll be introduced within Warzone. Now, lastly, but not really listed here in terms of gameplay affecting things is that we'll have a triple double XP event here coming. Based upon the Trello board for Warzone, we'll see a double XP, double weapon XP, and double battle pass XP, a triple threat event here on December 16th to the 20th. So that first weekend here of the Festive Fervor event. And then, unless mistakenly listed, it seems like we'll also have an entire week of a triple threat event starting on the 23rd and going to the 30th, which is just about the tail end here of that Festive Fervor event. That being something, again, that's double XP, double weapon XP, and double battle pass XP. So a lot of grind time here over the coming holiday weekends, which I'm incredibly excited here for. Now, outside of that, they also mentioned that as a sort of holiday bonus, anyone who owns Vanguard gets a couple of boosts as well. Detailed here, if you log into Vanguard and you own it before December 31st, you end up getting 10 battle pass tier skips for season one. Firstly, though, it doesn't say if these bank or not into next season, which it's kind of a bit worrisome because myself, for example, I'm actually almost done with the tiers already since I had the Battle Pass bundle included in my copy for PC, maybe PS5. I'm not entirely sure if that was bugged or if that was a part of the bundle that I ended up getting as well for a press review copy, but also a ton of tier skips racked up from the preseason where it felt like every 50 levels or so you were rewarded with a tier skip. So I started the season at like tier 65 or something, which was actually kind of crazy. I also think it could have been slightly bugged though, if I'm honest with you. I heard a lot of people saying that they started way higher than they expected as well. So if these bank, that's great. It works towards next seasons also, but if it doesn't, it'll be more useful to the people that maybe aren't as far progressed within the battle pass. But regardless, 10 tier skips will be rewarded for just simply owning the game, whether you bought into the battle pass or not, and you're just grinding out those free tiers, they'll be there. Also, for those that log into Vanguard before December 31st, you'll end up having a 10% global player, weapon, and battle pass XP boost. This is something that's nice for those grinding here, and if I were to guess, this actually should stack on top of the already existing 10% boost for regular XP you get if you own the battle pass here. So, nice way to grind out again for maybe a 20% boost for your regular XP, 10% for the rest of everything else. Then also for those that log in, you'll end up getting the 24 Vanguard tiers for free from the season six battle pass if you missed out on those. So if you didn't play in the preseason or you just didn't complete them, they'll be credited to your account if you own Vanguard. So that's of course some really nice stuff coming as well. Of course, what kind of update would we see here in terms of a title update, seasonal update, if it didn't also include some things listed in the shop? There are some cool things here, but also a couple of things that are definitely passable I'm definitely not even going to care about. The Krampus Operator skin, though, was something that was a big topic of discussion when that was data mined. It unfortunately doesn't look like it's going to be its actual operator. Instead, we'll have the Krampus Unleashed bundle, which features the Vendor Blood Roland skin that will give us the effect of Krampus, kind of, but not actually the Krampus operator. Then also the Broken Resolutions bundle actually looks pretty cool to me in terms of that operator that comes along with it. That's the first one that I've actually looked at and I said, Okay, maybe I'll actually get that. But outside of that, we also see that there are the 12 days of deals and holiday sales going along, as well as a free access weekend starting during this time as well. Free access being the 16th to the 21st, the deals being the 14th to the 25th, and the holiday sales being the 16th to January 5th. Now, those I probably wouldn't be too excited for here. Of course, if you're playing multiplayer, you probably already have Vanguard. Free access doesn't really affect you. The 12 days of deals, that's things for like Black Ops Cold War bundles that are discounted in the shop. Don't really care too much for those personally. Maybe you do. And then holiday sales will be things also kind of along those lines as well. So not really anything too major or anything crazy like that. But outside of the holiday deals, freebies, and content coming along, those updates that we'll have starting on Wednesday and Thursday, I'm expecting those to sort of fix out a lot of the issues present right now within Vanguard and Warzone. Maybe that's wishful thinking, maybe it actually gets things done, but that's the next title update that we'll see, so a lot of these big relevant problems should have the ability to be fixed out at that point, ironed out entirely, and maybe we end up seeing Atomic actually being achievable at this point as well, fixing things like your STG and your M1 Garand progression for those that ranked up the weapons in Warzone at all, things like the Panzerfaust not even tracking, let alone being incredibly hard to complete those aerial takedowns, so hopefully 
hopefully that stuff is fixed out as well, along with the other laundry list of problems that we've talked about here on the channel. But that said, that is the festive fervor and the week ahead here that we can look towards here. So that said, that's where we're going to wrap the video up. Let me hear your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section down below. Is there anything in particular you're really looking forward to here out of what is upcoming here for this festive fervor event? Any changes you're hoping to see with this title update made? Whatever the case may be, drop your thoughts down below. But that said, that's where we're going to wrap it up. So if you guys enjoyed the video, do me a favor, drop a like on the video. And of course, if you are new to the channel, that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things Vanguard, Warzone, Season 1 content, and of course, holiday events like this, we got you covered here on the channel. So if you're interested, hit that subscribe button. That said, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.